Okay, we're live. We can hear my puppy quick clacking again. He just loves it. He loves it when I start talking. Hey, summer down phone. Okay. We're here. We're live. What's up, AJ? How's it going? Long time no see. Who we got? We got Susie. My head's cut off. It's a never ending battle. I never not have my head cut off. I'm like a parrot. Okay. <clears throat> While my audience is building, I'm going to uh, get out a couple cooling racks. They're going to be, or just one. It's going to be loud. Because I have three and they cling cling together. Things shoved in a cabinet. Oh, what's up, buddy? Chauncey's here. He says hi. He's like, bark. Now mama's going to ignore me for 30 minutes. Okay, we're making corn dog bites today. Um, I actually found this recipe on Wilton, of all places, because they were selling their cupcake pan, which I don't, I'm assuming this is not Wilton because it doesn't have Wilton on it, but a little mini cupcake pan. So, um, pretty simple tutorial recipe. What is it? I don't know. Live stream. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do is start with the easiest and work my way up to the hardest. Um, first, you're gonna get a pack of hot dogs. These are meatless hot dogs. I'm sure the people that are attending tomorrow's party are gonna be thrilled that I am doing a very healthy alternative to traditional corn dog bites, mini corn dog bites. So this recipe is, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my hand off. This recipe is pretty simple and it's really easy to substitute one thing for another. Um, so this is, you can buy just a normal pack of hot dogs or you can buy like all the fancy court hot dogs, um, whatever you like. I am currently vegetarian, so I am not gonna make something that I won't eat. Um, because, well, this is for me too. Uh, go away. Okay, um, so I got veggie veggie dogs. You can get turkey dogs, you can get whatever you want because um, they're all gonna bake the same, just like they would in like a pot of boiling water or however, if you grill it, whatever you do with hot dogs. So my first step is to get the darn packaging open. There we go. And my second step, I might as well use this knife, is to cut the hot dogs into, um, it depends on how many hot dogs you have. Most hot dog packs come in packages of eight and then the buns come in packages of 10 because they want you to buy more. Um, but you're gonna take a hot dog and you're gonna cut it into six pieces. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So you just cut it in half, perfect. That smells like a real hot dog, that's really creepy. Um, so you're gonna cut it in half and then you're gonna cut that into thirds. So they're each gonna be, I don't know, maybe three quarters to an inch thick. That is so weird. That these are veggie dogs and they smell just like a hot dog. I'm actually not concerned, but a little like, um, oh, that's interesting. Um, so I'm going to do this real quick. The reason I am picking this is because uh, tomorrow I am one of many people helping throw a birthday party. And, um, I already, I ordered a cake, a very beautiful cake by, um, Jared here in Norman. And, um, he did a wonderful job and normally I bake things for stuff like this, but I didn't want to bake something and, and it just get ignored because of this gorgeous cake that we currently, um, that I've picked up, um, that I'm going to be bringing tomorrow as well. So I decided to do something simple and I didn't want to do, um, I didn't want to go to the store and buy something cause then I, I'm just like in a very healthy stage right now. Um, and I'm trying to eat healthier um but that can be really hard because right now i'm vegetarian and i am as dairy free as i can possibly be um so there are days where i eat cheese and i do eat eggs which is not dairy but i'm it's kind of like a more vegan lifestyle um so that can be kind of difficult but i do eat eggs still um because i really need protein and i don't want to suffer um physically from not eating enough protein. So that's why I have veggie dogs. So I didn't go buy anything because I wanted to eat, I wanted to make something that I could eat. And then, um, I know a few other people that have dietary restrictions. 
So I think they'll really appreciate this. Um, so that's the purpose of this. I'm going to be using some, hi grandma, um, I'm going to be using some healthy alternatives today, but this can be made as American as you want it. Clap, 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 sass. Um, so let me get, uh, let me go grab a bowl real quick. Okay. So I'm just going to toss these in here because I don't want this cutting board in my way right now. Ah. Okay, so I have 48 pieces of hot dog. I'm going to set that to the side. Just bring me all of those, Taylor. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll be able to experience some of my baking stuff in the future because I bake all the time. Okay, so the next step is going to be making the um, corn dog batter mixture. Um, it, I don't think it's exactly similar to like corn dog batter that you would, you would like get at the fair. Um, but it is really simple. Um, so I'm using a medium bowl and thanks Nancy for the, for the bowl. This is the pioneer woman mixing bowl. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, so first, like I say in every live stream, dry ingredients first, unless it's got butter and sugar that need to be creamed together. This has butter. It doesn't need to be creamed because it's technically like we're baking, but it's not a dessert. It's just an appetizer. So this is a little bit different. Um, oh, can't get your sound. Um, try the side of your phone because I think, can anybody else hear me? Can I get thumbs up if you can hear me? I think my sound is okay. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Oh God, no. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah? No? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going. You can watch later because this is how live streaming works. First step, bowl, put it on the counter. Second step, flour. So, this recipe is one flour, uh, one flour, wow, one cup of all purpose flour. Um, this is not as extreme wave if this is showing. I can see, yeah, I can, I can see it. I can see it. Yes. Yes. Hi, Robin. Um, so since this is not technically a dessert and there's not as much chemistry, the flour trick that I've talked about before where you need to level it, um, and, and kind of scoop it in, it's not as important, but I'm still going to go ahead and do it because... I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, it's kind of a, my dog is playing with his TP. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway just because it's a habit. So I'm going to scoop a cup of flour into this and level it off. So it's just all-purpose flour. You could probably use whole wheat flour um, in this recipe, and I'm, I'm almost positive you can use um, gluten-free flour, the one-in-one -one baking flour, not the almond meal. Um, I don't think that would really work that well. So I'm going to use this knife um, instead of like a butter knife because it's here. And I'm going to just level that off. I'm going to put that in my mixing bowl. Metal. Clink. Okay. And then next, I'm going to add a cup of yellow cornmeal. So this stuff is really cheap. I actually use a lot of cornmeal. Um, it's not necessarily the healthiest thing, but we do, um, for gluten-free like breakfast things, I can actually make like corn cakes and stuff with this, so that's why I keep cornmeal on hand. Um, and we've eaten corn cakes, Jose and I have eaten corn cakes for years, so it's just something I always have on me. Um, but yellow cornmeal is really cheap. It's like a dollar or some 68 or something for a little bag of it at Walmart or Target or wherever you shop. I'm sure it's more expensive at Homeland. But I'm going to go ahead and pour a cup in here. Hopefully I have a cup. Actually, now that I say that. Woo! Okay. I have just a cup. And mine is not pure yellow cornmeal. You can't see because um, it probably blends into the dang wall. But if you look at my cornmeal, it's really white in color. That's because I use white and yellow mixed together. Um, that's just how I bake. I find that it tastes better. 
Um, but it can be just plain yellow is fine. So I'm going to give that just a quick stir. And then the next thing is um, two tablespoons of granulated sugar. So that's just white sugar. And then um, a teaspoon of salt. So two tablespoons of sugar. And you just level that off. And and then a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just using a half teaspoon measuring, oh, like a half, te half teaspoon measuring spoon, so I'm going to do this twice. Okay. And then a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So the baking powder is going to be the leavener in this. Um, I've talked about this before. Leavener is just good, good for the soul. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is going to make it rise a lot um, when it's mixed in with the milk. So I'm going to give that a stir. And the next ingredients are liquid. So go ahead and add one cup of milk and this is where I'm going to change things up. This is almond milk. I don't drink normal milk. Um, it makes me sick so I don't normally bake with it unless it's for an order. Um, I don't use almond milk in people's orders um, unless they need a dairy free recipe. Um, so you know if someone has a tree nut allergy this is obviously not something that they can eat. And I'm going to put a label on this whenever I go to the party tomorrow that says that it has almond milk in it. Um, and honey, because if anybody is, well, I'm using eggs, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, okay, so let's see. A cup of milk, a quarter cup of sour cream, two eggs, and a stick of butter. And a stick of butter is half a cup, so depending on if you have sticks or not. Um, I did have sh uh, uh, margarine, and I'm going to go ahead and use that because I don't keep butter in the house unless I'm baking. Um, and what I did is I melted it in a saucepan and then I let it cool. So it's already pretty cooled. I'm going to go ahead and just pour it on in here. And I'm going to scrape the excess. And what's great is that now your uh, pan is seasoned. So when you cook eggs, they won't stick next time. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay, so a half a cup of butter, which is one stick, or margarine, or shortening, honestly. Um, melted so you can mix it better. A full cup of milk. Um, two large eggs, which if you are um, vegan or don't want to eat eggs, applesauce is just fine. Um, that shouldn't make a big difference in a recipe like this because, like I said, it's not a dessert. Um, so the baking is a little bit more forgivable. So for an egg, um, one egg is two tablespoons of applesauce. And then there also, you can replace it with flaxseed. I don't know anything about flaxseed, so I'm not going to even try and pretend like I know what I'm talking about. And then a quarter cup of sour cream. So this is where I can't really, you can't really substitute this unless you have soy cream. And that's, that's hard to find. And that just sounds, um, I just don't think anyone would eat it. So I, w I went ahead and sacrificed it. Sacrifice my, my thing. So a quarter cup of sour cream. I'm just gonna level that off. And toss it on in there. And I'm actually going to save this uh, sour cream because there is another um, part of it. Oh, wow. Anthony, what the heck? <laughs> um, so another part of this recipe is uh, it's got like a weird um, honey mustard type thing. Um, hello. Okay, lots of wows. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Um, the next part of the recipe has a dipping sauce. So I'm going to save the rest of this and I'm going to use the whole thing. And um, why do I got angry things? Hi, Erin. Um, so I'm going to use this honey and mustard to make like a creamy honey mustard dressing. 
So now that I've mixed all my wet ingredients in, I'm going to just slowly stir it in so I don't splatter anything anywhere. And what's great about this is that this is like a one bowl um, recipe and I only have to use like a couple of like a couple of measuring cups and then a bowl and a spatula, um, which I love because sometimes this girl's lazy. So what is that? Oh my God. <laughs> um, so mixing it up, you don't really have an opportunity to over mix this. So stir it until basically most of the lumps are gone. <sighs> But don't like stir for 10 minutes because that's gonna, that will kill it. Oh, hello. <clears throat> okay, so at this point, it looks just like corn dog batter minus, um, it's not as yellow because I use white cornmeal and yellow, but it is looking good. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grease this mini cupcake tin. I'm gonna fill half of it um, with the batter and I'm gonna actually use a cookie scoop. This is a two, I believe a two tablespoon cookie soup, soup, a cookie scoop. Um, so I'm gonna scoop it into there like that and then I'm gonna put the hot dog in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. First I'm gonna grease it. I just have um, canola cooking spray. And I'm gonna um, lightly grease every cavity because you do not want this sticking to your tin. Um, I normally use wrappers, but I'm not going to this time because I, like I would like them to look like little corn dogs. So. Okay. Um, for the sour cream substitute, I think you can use like soy yogurt, um, like unflavored soy yogurt or soy cream. I really just did not find that. Like at, I went to Sprouts last night and I couldn't find anything that I thought would be um, substitutable. Um, they did have, I think they had... Um, dairy-free sour cream, but it was just really expensive, and honestly, no one's gonna notice except me. So, I just thought, no big deal, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I can eat a little bit of dairy, it's not gonna make me sick, but I did learn the last couple of days that dairy makes me feel absolutely awful. Um, so, I'm, I'm limiting myself, but I'm not completely omitting it. So, I'm gonna just uh, level, level scoop. Can't really see, that's okay, you don't need to see. And honestly, you don't even need to do all of it. This is actually me. Let's not do this. Okay. Plan B. Tablespoon. I'm going to use a tablespoon. I'm just going to wipe it up. It just had sugar in it, so no big deal. So I'm going to level this out. And then I'm going to just pour it into my cupcake tins one at a time. Hopefully. Super easy. That's why I'm excited about this recipe because I don't have a lot of time to do stuff tonight. Um, I'm pretty busy and I gotta go do some cleaning and some chores and I just did not want to um, spend all night cooking stuff. So that is why I'm doing this. And who doesn't love corn dogs? Honestly, even though I am vegetarian, and sometimes vegan, I get the Morningstar corn dogs from the freezer section. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. They're like my favorite thing to eat. Um, so while you're doing this, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, which I've been doing and it's ready to go. So I'm just going to finish filling this up and then I'm going to um, put a hot dog in the middle of each one and pop it in the oven for 15 minutes. And I don't know what we're going to do then. Maybe I'll just, should I end it? I would like you guys to see it. I'd like you guys to see the end. My dog. Can you see him? He's being weird. He's staring out the window. Oops. Okay. First one. All right. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to take these delicious, weird smelling corn dog or uh, hot dog pieces that I've cut up into 48 
And I'm going to just stick it right in the middle and then push it until the cornbread um, almost comes up level with it because you don't want to push it all the way down into the bottom of the pan. Um, but you do want to push it in there enough to where it won't pop out while you're baking. <clears throat> and when they're rounded on the top, I'm just going to put them in first. So. Oh, oh, can you see? Aha. It's pretty dark in here. I need some uh, lights. I also need a better camera angle, but <sighs> progress, not perfection. Am I right? <laughs> okay, let's set this down. Oh, that one went in sideways. Whoopsie. That's okay. No big deal. I'm not even sure if you can see this after they're done baking. I think you can, but who cares, honestly. Okay, now that they're in here, I'm going to put them in the oven for 15 minutes. And um, the cornbread batter, or the corn dog rat, the, the, the corn dog batter should come out golden brown. And the hot dogs or not real meat, so no one really cares. Um, so 15 minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the honey dijon -y whatever, whatever this sauce is called, I don't really know. Um, I have a bowl, small bowl, and I'm gonna use the rest of my sour cream because it costs for two thirds of a cup, but I only have this one, um, this one thing of sour cream because I don't eat it. So I'm just going to use what I have left, which should be, actually, it'll be three quarters of a cup. So that'll be more than two thirds. We'll be just fine. I'm going to go ahead and dump that in here. Next on here is, um, so I've got three quarters of a cup of sour cream. Um, the recipe calls for two thirds, but yeah, yellow. And I'm gonna do three quarters. The recipe also calls for three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, but I only have this like, you know, classic yellow American mustard. Um, this will be fine. I'm not gonna actually measure this. It does say three tablespoons, but since I added more sour cream, I'm gonna add a little bit more mustard. It's basically gonna be a quarter cup of mustard. And then I'm gonna add, um, like two and a half, three tablespoons of honey. Um, so, we're just guessing. That looks good, looks great. I have no idea how much mustard I just put in there, but we're gonna stir it up anyway, it's fine. Who cares? Can you really mess up with mustard, can you? I don't think so, I really don't. It smells weird. Smells weird. Oh God, it's more mustard. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a like a honey mustardy type um, recipe. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna put the honey in here and then I'm gonna taste it and see what happens. So I'm gonna just put in a couple tablespoons of honey. Woo. Um, if you are um, not eating honey because you're vegan or maybe allergic or you don't have any. Um, or because it's expensive, you can use agave nectar, which um, is pretty cheap. And I, I, I use a lot of agave um, as a replacement for syrup and honey um, in my recipes. Like on pancakes, I actually have um, maple flavored agave um, or like blueberry. I have, a, I have a few. I've tried a few. But um, you can use just normal agave. Let me show you what it looks like. If I have any. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this is blue agave sweetener. You can actually put this in like anything. It is gluten free. It's just straight up. It's agave. That's what it is. Um, you can put this in drinks and a lot of cocktails actually use agave as a natural sweetener. 
um, just because it won't make your drinks gritty. So you could use that. I probably could have used that and I didn't because I don't care. Um, this is a low key recipe and my head's cut off. There we go. <laughs> hey. Um, so I am done mixing it and I'm actually just gonna taste it. That's not bad actually, I'm just gonna eat this. Is that weird? That might be weird. Yeah, whatever. Oh, tangy. Okay, that's pretty good. Cool, awesome. Okay, so all I have next is, um, this makes 48 corn dog bites. So I have 24 in the oven because I only have one mini tin. Um, I did consider you can make them in a bigger cupcake tin, which looks like this, you know, your typical 12, tin, 12 cavity cupcake tin. They're going to bake a little bit longer, probably like 20 minutes. And you'll put, um, you'll do the exact same thing where you fill it halfway with batter and then put a hot dog in there. Um, that might have a more corn dog batter to hot dog ratio, so it might be a lot more than it would be hot dog. Um, depends on, you know, how you like your corn dogs. Um, I love crispy corn dogs with not a lot of skin, but I don't eat corn dogs anymore. So I guess it's just whatever. Um, this is, I'm excited for this because I haven't had a corn dog in a few weeks. Um, and I eat the vegetarian ones. I've said that once already, but I do I eat the Morning Star vegetarian corn dogs. Um, they're in the freezer section with all the vegetarian stuff. They're delicious. Um, they're better than some cor real corn dogs I've had. They have milk in them though, so, or egg. They have one or the other, so if you're vegan, and no bueno. But, um, I'll be right back. Look at my kitchen, see how beautiful it is. Yay! Morningstar rocks their chicken nuggets, though. I know. I love Morningstar. So, um, this is not my first adventure into the vegetarian and vegan lifestyle. When I was in high school, um, I did go, um, I didn't eat red meat for a really long time, and I ate chicken, mostly chicken, and like, you know, whoever. We never ate turkey. It was a lot of chicken. Um, but I have gone vegetarian, like, several times, like, full-blown vegetarian, um, it's only been recently that I've decided to, to do less dairy, not 100% vegan. That is, that can be really difficult, um, especially if you're like on a budget and, or um, if you go out to eat a lot or if you're really busy, um, that will make your prices go way, 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 way up. So I'm, I do eat very little dairy, um, but if I'm out, like for example, if I run out of lunch because this happens a lot um if i don't have anything to eat for lunch and i have to go grab something oh bye anthony um text me well don't text me right now because i'm on my phone but text me later um so if um i have to go grab something for lunch and i need to go eat somewhere vegan or go pick out something vegan that ends up being a little bit well quite a bit more expensive than if i'm eating vegetarian so Sometimes it's a hit or miss. Um, I'm, I don't get super sick if I eat just a little bit of dairy, but I have noticed that it, hurt, it just makes me feel awful. So um, I do eat Morningstar. Um, all of their patties are, I think, vegan or at least dairy-free. Um, like I said, I still eat eggs, so that's um, why that doesn't really bother me. Um, but I do love Morningstar, and I eat a lot of their burger patties, like oh, all the time, all the time. Um, so we've got about seven and a half minutes left on this. I don't know if you guys want to just sit here and talk or if, you know, you want to, um, you want me to just end this and, and like come back later. I don't really want to do live streams though. So maybe I'll just sit and chat for a little bit. If you guys want to talk about anything, let me know. Um, I, the reason I look a little bit of a hot mess is I went running at lunchtime. So like I have no makeup on basically. And um, I went running outside and I sweated a lot. So <laughs> I look I look a little frazzled. So my hair is a little, you know, crazy. Also, I haven't washed it in a few days. Um, but 
Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this live streaming. My numbers are dropping since I started talking about being vegan. <laughs> um, now I'm down to two. Um, but I um, hope you guys enjoy these. Hi, Harrison. Um, I do hope you guys enjoy these. I know like sometimes these can be a little um, lag, just slow whenever I'm baking and not um, um, actually doing anything because I'm currently we're waiting on the corn dog bites to come out of the oven I've got six minutes left um but I could try the big ones why don't we try that sure why not let's live a little okay clink, clink, clink. let me get I have two different cupcake tins I have a pretty shallow one as you can see I think this is pretty cheap but I'm gonna go ahead and try making corn dog bites in these because why not um, so the mini corn dog bites in the tin, the mini tin, um, call for one tablespoon of batter. I'm going to go ahead and assume this calls for two, um, because it makes sense. Okay. I'm going to grease this up. I'm using canola oil. Any kind of oil spray will work. This tin is older than my relationship with Jose. Um, so hopefully it doesn't stick anything to it or nothing sticks to it. Okay. So I'm using, um, just two tablespoons of corn dog batter. And for those of you who are just joining me, corn dog batter is super easy. It's one cup of flour, one cup of yellow cornmeal, um, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, cup of milk, two eggs, a fourth of a cup of sour cream. Um, is that it? Boom. That's it. Woo. Anyway, um, and then you mix it all together. Mix dry ingredients first, whisk it to, or mix it together and then add your wet. And that's why I'm making it. It's because I have a lot to do and I don't want to do, I really, I don't have enough time to bake anything fancy and someone, a good friend of mine, baked a beautiful cake for the party tomorrow and I don't want to be, I, don't, I just don't want to try and like, you know, be like, oh, I can bake better because, <laughs> you know, I, if you saw the cake, it's amazing. It is the most, I just can't even, it's like wedding worthy. Um, so I'm just baking or I'm currently putting two tablespoons of corn dog batter into each cupcake tin and we're going to see what happens. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two, um, hot dog bites, hot dog pieces into this batter to see. Um, it actually should fit pretty well, so I don't see why why not. And I'm not going to make all tw ah, forget it. Let's make all 12. We're just flying by the seat of our pants right now. This is exciting. I don't normally do this when it comes to baking because uh, I'm a baker and you don't fly by the seat of your pants when you're a baker. Um, well, you can. I don't. So, bacon along. I can smell the corn dogs that are in the oven right now and they smell amazing. Holy cow. I am starving. I had, I had lunch, but you know, that was at one o'clock and I had an apple at like four. No, it was like three. Okay, so these are halfway full, just like last time, and I'm gonna put two hot dogs into each one. And you guys, you can't really see, but I'm gonna, I'm just, we're gonna pretend like you can. So two pieces in each one, and actually, you know, this will be like, you know, the exact same ratio. So, awesome. Even better. And this will save some time. I still have a little bit of corn dog batter. Um, what I'm gonna do is some of these are a little bit low, because I scoop them um, just by guessing. I didn't really like measure super exact. I just kind of tossed batter in here. So I'm gonna fill up some that are lower, <gasps> lower than others, and um, we're gonna we're gonna call it we're gonna call it good. And we got two minutes, guys. I'm so excited. And for those of you who have just joined, um, God, my watcher is just ebb and flow. I had like 12 just a minute ago. Um, I did make a like honey mustard type sauce. It is weird looking, but it is pretty darn tasty if I just say so myself. So let me get the rest of this batter. 
Hey, bada, bada, bada. Who likes corn dogs? Does anybody like corn dogs? Like, do you love, like, you have to go to a fair and eat a corn dog, even if it's like the medieval fair where you need to, you like should be getting a turkey leg? Next, Martha Stewart, without the inside trading hanging over your head. I am the um, Martha Stewart without a felony. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of batter to some of these that are lower than the others. That'll help them bake a little bit better too, just because if you fill these up too low and then bake them all at the same time, some of these could like actually burn and we don't want to do that. Um, I don't like burning things. It makes me so sad. And it's okay if your hot dogs get covered up by some of the batter. Because like I said, there ain't no meat in this. They're going to bake anyway. <laughs> They're going to bake just fine. Okay, let's see. A little bit here. A little bit here. Just kidding. Oh, it didn't go through. It just just made the noise. Didn't actually show it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, dog hair. Dog hair up my nose. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands now. That was disgusting. Oh, my gosh. Is anybody having awful allergies today? Because I am. I've sneezed so many times. <gasps> oh, it's ready. I'm so excited. But yeah. Oh my gosh, my nose. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. put these in here because who cares um it's not gonna ruin anything let's go ahead and put these in for two more minutes and we'll clean up a little and for those of you who are curious i literally dirty every dish in the kitchen and then wash it later because i really hate doing dishes so much Dishes and laundry, my two least favorite things in the world. Uh, okay, this is actually empty, but I think I have more um, because I, like I said, use a lot of cornmeal. Do I have more up here? Oh, maybe I don't. All right, I did. It just lost me. My stream lost me. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Can you see me? Hello. I'm just cleaning up a little bit while I'm waiting for the last two minutes of my corn dogs to come out. Put that in the fridge. What's going on? Hi, Dad. Oh, gosh. Well, there's no room. No room. Ah! Okay. They look done. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out. Woo! And you're gonna set them on a wire rack to cool for about five minutes before taking them out of the pan. I'm impatient. I don't wanna chase one right meow. So we got a plate. These are so cute. Can you see them? Here, hold on. Ooh. Look at them. They're so cute. They all baked really well. So they're golden brown on the sides and then the top, they're a pretty pale yellow and that's because I use white and yellow corn mix together. Corn meal, not corn mix. Can you see me? Hmm keeps kicking me off. I'm going I'm about to end this anyway. I'm just going to show you guys. Um oh my god, I almost burnt my hand. Oh yeah. 
So here is one. This one was probably one of my, like, I guess, uglier ones. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. So since I do use white and yellow cornmeal, um, this is not going to be as golden brown as if you use pure yellow cornmeal, but it does look great. And the sides are nice and golden brown, and they're crispy from the canola oil. So I'm going to try a little, little bit of this honey mustard stuff. Just a teeny bit, because I normally eat hot dogs kind of plain. I am one of those. So I'm just going to cut it in half. Oh, that's piping hot. There you go. You see it? Focus. Focus. My hot dogs do look a little funny. They are vegetarian, like I've said. So, um, let me try this out. That is pretty dang darn good. Oh my gosh. Cornmeal batter, corn dog batter is delicious. And the hot dogs for being um, meat free, which I've never actually had a vegetarian.